Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard. Today is September 14th. This is my weekly shop update. And I'm in a really great mood today. Not sure why, just am. But I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> my wife says this outfit doesn't match, but I don't care. <laughs> so before we get started with the updates, I just wanna make a couple of follow-up announcements. I announced, I announced this last week, but I'll say it again this week, just so you have a reminder. At the end of the month, I was working in America. I will be there along with a lot of other online content creators. Um, if you're gonna be in the area, feel free to stop by to the marketplace, which is where the booth is gonna be, that we're all gonna be kind of at and around. I'll be there throughout the day, but I do have the classes I'm gonna be taking as well. It is $10 to get in at the door or $8 in advance, and you can come in, you can shop around and do all that fun stuff there at Woodworking in America. See a list of everyone that's going to be there, head over to videowoodworkers.com. The other announcement is that this Wednesday at noon central time, I'll be doing another live Q&A, live Ask Matt. So stop by, ask your questions, or if you have any questions in advance you want me to answer, feel free to send those to me, and I'll try to get to those. I think that's it. All right, cool. <laughs> So out here today, I am sitting on the base of what is going to become the farmhouse table. Now I posted a picture of the SketchUp rendering of this table on Instagram. I think that was last week or something. And I got a lot of great response. Seems like a lot of people are really interested in that project. And that's going to be the, or one of the first classes that I'm going to be shooting as a video class workshop thing. So that's what I'm working on out here. Now my parents were in town this weekend, so my dad was here helping me move these big slabs around and we got the slabs processed for the tabletop. And what that means is I cut them to length and I ripped off the live edge so they're ready to go and become a tabletop. This is one of the cutoffs from that tabletop. It was, the, the two slabs were both 12 quarter, so three inches thick, and one is gonna be about 16 inches wide or so, and the other is gonna be around 23 inches wide or so. And this is all white oak. So these are pretty heavy. So that's gonna be a really fun build and I'm looking forward to building that whole thing because it's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of uh, pretty sweet joinery on that one. So looking forward to that. I do have a bunch of stuff laid out here that I wanna show you guys today. And uh, yeah, so let's go for a little walk around this area here. There's that camera. <laughs> so over here, these are the slabs that I'm going to make into the tops for the benches, the matching benches for the table. So I had the whole log laid out here and there were two more slabs here that were pretty big that I'm not going to need for this project so I stored those away in the shed. So this slab here is going to become a single one board top for that bench. I think once I get this edged and straightened that should work out just fine. And then this one and that one I'm going to rip and then glue together to get the other bench top. This one's gonna be pretty cool because it's got this nice crotch figure in it, so that's gonna be a nice feature of the table. And then that small one down there is just an extra that I'll have for other stuff as well. And there's how I got my overhead shots for the classes. <laughs> Tripod on a ladder. So these are gonna become all of the base material, so pretty much all four by fours are gonna be are gonna get cut out of this slab and the bottom slab there. And I'm gonna try and get as much of that stuff to look uh, rifts on as opposed to quarter saw. I really don't want the, I'm not, I'm not looking for the ray fleck in this build. So I'm gonna try and keep it at rifts on for all of the four by four material, which looking at the end grain, I should be able to get a pretty good amount of rifts on stock out of here. I might have some quarter saw that I'll have to mix in, but for the most part, for the most, visible ones, I'm going to have them be quarter sawn, not quarter sawn, riff sawn. So that's this big slab. Just to get an idea of scale, I think these are like two feet wide or something. That's my iPhone. <laughs> iPhone 5S. Yeah, pretty big stuff. Give you a little update on the trailer here. While my dad was here this weekend, we got a lot of work done on this trailer. Got the whole center section filled in, or at least most of it, up to about there. This plate is super heavy, and we got that installed. I painted the other side before I welded it down, and then I still have to paint uh, the top side here so it doesn't rust. 
but these long eight foot welds give me plenty of opportunity to practice welding on top of all of the C-channel welding that I did underneath. So I ended up putting eight of these sections of C-channel in. I have seven that are like kind of evenly spaced throughout the whole length. And then I added this eighth piece here that's going to carry the seam between this plate and the bigger plate. The other thing we did was wire the brakes and then rewire the trailer. There used to be a conduit that all the wire ran through coming through here, but since the C channel is there now, there's no room for that conduit anymore. So I ran all the wires through the C channels and I just melted a hole in the C channel for the wires to pass through. And the other thing we did was take off the ramps since I won't be needing those anymore. And those are pretty heavy. So I haven't shown it for a while, but I thought I'd show the lumber storage today. Pretty much fully stocked now. So that's kind of nice. Just in time for the busy season. <laughs> so that's four quarter ash, four quarter cherry, five quarter cherry. Then over here I've got a bunch of slabs. And if you see, you can kind of see it back up in there. This big slab right there, that's that. There's two slabs like that back there. And those are the two slabs that are left from that log that I'm going to use for the tops of the benches. So those, those are some pretty wide ones. I think they're like 24 inches wide or so. I want to keep those for a future project, maybe a tabletop or something. And I've got more stuff here. This is all longer stuff. Some maple and some cherry. And these are 12 footers. Some log stuff. Back to the back area. So in the shop this week, I was finishing up the cutting boards or a bunch of cutting boards. So a few pre-ordered one of these random pattern end grain cutting boards and you haven't received a shipping notice yet, you'll get one probably tonight or tomorrow. I have all the boards done for the pre-orders, so I'm all done with all the pre-orders and I've also got a few other ones as well, like these like kind of square ones like this and some non-random pattern ones as well that I'll have for sale on the website. So that's about all I have for this week. Thank you as always for watching, I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today in the backyard, in my shop, or whatever, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Until next time, happy woodworking.